Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the MTG Netflix series and what the uh, impact will be. Now I'm still very optimistic and I have made a few videos in the past. Uh, now of course there is no magic movie. There was in 2000 and a long time ago, uh, the a magic movie by the people ma who made the Avengers. So I thought that would be pretty great if there was a magic movie involving Jace and Nicolas Cage. So in 2001, they were going to make a mini series for television, but Mark Rosewater wrote the story. And as you know, Meryl probably added a lot of social justice even back then, and then the story was rejected. Uh, in 2008, uh, they struck a deal with Universal for a Magic Gathering movie, but uh, again, that didn't happen. So now we are in 2020. Uh, in 2019, they announced that, yeah, hey guys, we are going to do a movie. Or we're going to do a Netflix TV series, uh, kind of, I would imagine, very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon or Bushy Road has uh, both Card Fight Vanguard and even Buddy Fight have TV series. So this is not something out of the blue. Most card games, if not all of them, have a TV series, which then gets the younger people involved. Now, the main problem with Magic the Gathering, in my opinion, is there's not enough youth. Uh, as the game gets more and more expensive in Paper Magic, um, MTG Arena is... MTG Arena viewership is way down, by the way. Um, there are many reasons. You could say reclamation, but the Twitch numbers are... I mean, just the viewership numbers are just, um, I mean, MB, uh, MTG Twitch numbers, they're incredibly poor, uh, like incredibly, incredibly poor right now. So let me read you some numbers. Magic the Gathering, uh, 4,000 live viewers. On average, there's 7,684 viewers, uh, av average viewers seven days. Uh, peak viewer was March 31st, 2019, and that was 155,000. So that's pretty crazy that it went down from 155,000. Now, um, is how much of that is fake? How much of that is uh, real? I don't know. I mean, you can, I mean, you can make the argument either way, right? Um, there, there is some argument to be made that maybe initially they had faked their numbers and that's why the numbers are so low because they have stopped faking it um, as of now. But the numbers are not great. Um, the numbers are just not great. Um, even the MPL members, they have difficulties. Uh, they have very difficulties um, trying to, uh, I mean, it's just so hard for them to get streams of a thousand or even 100 uh, where in fake grand order or other games i play league of legends uh, i mean these numbers are just not their peak numbers are typically what uh is naturally happening just on a single day so i'm looking at these numbers right now they're not as great as they used to be um, i think some of the numbers were manipulated in the beginning so in 2019, um, maybe I'll make another video on this because it is definitely, it is very interesting to see the decline in viewership. Uh, there is a massive decline in viewership from 2019 to 2018 on Twitch and hours watched. I mean, this is like horrendous. Again, I think they faked their numbers, but even faking their numbers, it went from 5 million, I mean, they went from 8 million to, you know, 8 million, 9 million to 5 million, which is crazy low. Um, it's just not, it doesn't make sense. So young people are not watching Magic streamers. They're not really interested in MPL members. I mean, the MPL... They're very boring individuals. Uh, one of them, Huey Jensen, literally puts you to sleep. Um, that's how boring they are. Um, they're just not... It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'll just put it this way. They're so boring. 
uh, Magic the Gathering, watch, watching that on Twitch, compared to Hearthstone, I mean, I can look at Hearthstone, and Hearthstone is going to be just so much better, in my opinion, uh, in terms of, you know, the numbers and League of Legends. and It just, you cannot fake these numbers, because once you stop faking the numbers, you're kind of screwed. I'll, I'll put it that way. Once you stop faking the numbers, like I'm seeing the graph right now, uh, then even if your numbers do increase from the previous, it's almost like a speculation buyout is what happened. I'm looking at these numbers now. Is like they kind of bought themselves out. And then instead of a regular, steady, sustainable growth, they had this big spike, but now we're going down the opposite way, which doesn't feel good. So are we going to get this movie? Uh, I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know if we're going to get this Netflix. But if we do get the Netflix, I expect Magic Card to spike a ton in price, uh, particularly the reserve list. People are going to want to play ED8s. That's the format of the future. There's no doubt in my mind that ED8s will still be beloved. It will still be kitchen table magic. And we'll go back to the Odin days. We'll get rid of the uh, crappy MPL. I think the MPL needs to, uh, we need to delete the MPL because the MPL is not very, the MPL does not make any sense in today's context. I'll put it that way for you. Um, mainly because, again, it's kind of like one of these things where why are we paying them so much money? They're not entertaining they barely anyone paying attention to them to begin with. Uh, it truly, truly does not make sense uh, why we would pay the MPL the type of money we pay them, and especially since most of them are depressed and unwilling or unable to stream anyway. So it's kind of like, well, where did all this money go? Uh, it went to the trash can. That's where the money went. It, we kind of threw it in the trash. And they could have been used for other stuff that would be much more advantageous in my opinion. But uh, nonetheless, maybe an anime series, maybe this movie series. Should this movie be the real deal? Um, I think you're going to look at a huge, huge jump in Magic the Gathering in the core demographic you want to see the jump in. I don't want to see the jump in rich people anymore. I don't. We don't need a bunch more Rudies, uh, as awesome as that sounds. Uh, we need young players who are new to Magic, and this is their first time they're playing Magic, and they saw something, and they said, you know what, I like this game. This game is amazing, and I think this game is going to work. That's what we need. Uh, we absolutely do not need... Uh, we absolutely do not need more rich people in this game to drive up the price of boxes that is the last thing that i think we would ever really want in this game um even though it might be appealing to some people so at the end of the day um i hope this netflix tv series is real i hope it does well and i mean there's no reason for me to wish poorly on it because this is the savior of our game. I'm, I'm just going to point blank tell you that if this Netflix series does not get, uh, is not real, like the magic movie was not real, as I identify now, maybe 12 years later, I realized that that was a fake information. Um, I don't see magic surviving long term. And I know this because the sports cards. So when you go to a sports card convention and you count how many middle aged 30 to 40 year old, 50 to 60 year old people, um, and then you count how many young people there are, you're not going to find many young people. And as the conventions get, you know, um, as the convention gets older and older, the older people will eventually pass away. And that's why when you look at sports cards, um, I mean, there's, Wow, um, there's just no young people doing it. Um, if you go on YouTube, it's all box opening channels of people opening $10,000 packs. In sports cards, it's not uncommon for a single pack, a single booster pack, yes, of 10 cards. Uh, National Treasures, I think, is $4,000. 
um, a box for 10 cards. And I think uh, there's a lot more. If you don't have young people playing the game, you are screwed. There is no survival. There is no plan B. There's nothing you can do. It's just over. Um, because it, it will be the same as sports cards. You're going to get, you're going to, the reason that sports cards are so expensive is because it's no longer a hobby for young people. It's a hobby for very wealthy old people. And if it ever becomes like that, then you're talking about a situation where if there's not enough young people, you're eventually going to run out of old people. And that's what's happening right now is you don't see many um, youths collecting sports cards. Um, and every single new Magic set, it gets worse. Uh, and every single sports card set, it gets more and more expensive. So hopefully this is real. Hi, guys.